You can mess somebody up with that, boy. I'll go ahead. He got a script. Uh, now, hold on, hey, the brother's about to bring a scripture out for us. Do they not provoke me to anger, says the Lord? So why y'all provoking the Lord to anger? How come y'all ain't doing what the Lord said to do? What the fuck's wrong with you? Keep reading. Do they not provoke themselves to the com confusion of their own faces? Yeah, y'all a bunch of confused idiots. If you're not teaching a Bible, you're a confused idiot. Keep on. Therefore, this says the Lord God, behold, my anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place. Hold on, hold on, hold on, read that again. Hold on, hold on, wait till that bus go by. Read that, hurry up, loud, loud, loud. Therefore, this says the Lord God, behold, my anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place. Hold on, we gotta wait till that go by. I gotta hear that clearly. Uh, they ain't gonna let the ambulance flip that motherfucker out of here, man. Hopefully somebody can go. Now blast that loud, bro. We got a lot of people out here. Therefore, this says the Lord, God, behold, my anger and my fear shall be poured out upon this place. So, so the Lord said his anger and his fury is going to be poured out on America for all the wickedness and abominations y'all committed out here. Upon man. I, I, I bet not one of y'all know all Ten Commandments. Not one of you. Bunch of damn heathens. Read that again. Therefore, this says the Lord God, behold, my anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place. Yeah, the Lord got a lot of anger. He got a lot to be angry about. Keep going. Upon men and upon beasts and upon the trees of the field and upon the fruit of the ground, it shall burn and shall not be quenched. So the Lord's going to burn you. If you ain't right with the most high, you're going to get burned up. It's real simple. You're going to eat a missile. Because soon World War III is going to break out. And guess what? America's going to be destroyed by nuclear fire. I bet I bet y'all didn't even know that Israel's about to attack Iran, did you? Did you not know a thermo nuclear war is about to break out? But y'all too damn busy watching uh, watching reality TV or watching, what's that shit they watch? Jersey? Do they still watch that shit? I don't watch TV. I don't have a uh, bad girls club. What the fuck kind of retarded shit you watch? I don't watch TV. TV's for retarded people. Check this out, man. These people, they think when these nuclear missiles are shot off, that's why they can feel the way they feel, man, because they think they're taught they're going to they gonna lose the fire. I feel too much happiness in there. You know what I mean? They taught they can get through this, man. They thought, you know, get through this destruction, but they don't really, look at that, man. This is a little graph it is, you know. Get that on camera, get that on camera. That's the power of uh, Hiroshima and Trinity. Look how small it is compared to the motherfuckers. That's that Soviet bomb. That shit, that was in the 60s, I think. That was back that then, old. right, right. And they cut it in half. It was really yeah, it, it bigger. It, it was half. like, it, that's the size of that, that's man. That's the one they got a video for on YouTube. Right. If you get on YouTube and type in Star Bomb, that'll pop up. Type this in on YouTube. They got a video of it. Look at that right here. This is this right here. That's right there. You see that? Damn. That ain't no fucking hoe, man. See, I got this idea from Tahara, man. The wow. power of these nuclear bombs. Check this out. Y'all yeah, think nuclear warfare, y'all think it don't exist. It's funny to them, it's funny to them. Funny to them. That's that pride, that's their pride. Now, this is a nuclear bomb right here. That's one ton of TNT. Hey, put it on camera. One of these squares, one of these squares is one ton of TNT. Okay? I oh, see that one of these squares is one ton of TNT. And this is a kiloton. That's a thousand that's a thousand tons. And that's a real bomb right there. Uh, right. Little boy was what? Fifteen of these. Fat man was twenty-one of these. Yeah, Fat Man is the one they uh, dropped on Nagasaki. Right. Um, Ivy King is five hundred of these. The hell was Ivy King? Let me see that. Get that on camera. So you see that? That's the power of the nukes, that were, well not nukes, but what they call them, atomic bombs was dropping World War II. But this is the shit they got now. Right. What's that at the bottom? That's just one kiloton. This one right here is another one of the U.S. It's 9,000 kilotons. This is this right here. Oh, God damn. It's that right there. Fuck, well, it's more than one page. Right. Oh, this goes on well, and on. This ain't nothing. It's two damn pages. Look, look. This one, the Russian bomb, this is one page. Get that and up. Was like, get that up. And it was like, it was like down to here. God damn. There it is right here. You can see it right here. Right here. 
Wow. It just goes on and on. Goes on and on. Those are all kilotons. Each, uh -huh. each square. And they think they're going to live through this shit. You know what I'm saying? They're going to live through That's what they hey, let's get at Peter, bro. Uh, you know what I want. Get at Peter. Because y'all think it's a joke when we out here teaching the Bible. They think that shit's funny, man. I think it's real funny. Oh no, no, nah, nah, it's gonna be funny. I'm laughing. I'm jumping. It is funny. Jeremiah 8 and 12. Oh, okay. I started laughing. For they, for they have healed the heart of the daughter of my people, slightly saying, peace, peace. Yeah. Where there is no peace. Yeah, y'all always talking about peace, peace, where there ain't gonna be no peace. The Lord said he came not to bring peace, but a sword. That's in the Bible. That's what that's what Jesus said. He said, Jesus said, he came to bring a sword. He said he did not, N-O-T, he did not come to bring peace. And there ain't never been peace on the earth. So you know that's the truth. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Yeah, because y'all ain't ashamed when y'all commit abominable act. When you eat pork and when you be a lesbian, when you're a, a homosexual, yeah, feel no shame for that. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. No. They were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore they shall fall among them that fall. So y'all gonna die. Simple as A, B, and C. Right you're gonna be destroyed. Simple as A, B, and C. If you think, if you think the, the Bible's a joke, you're gonna be destroyed. Or that makeup you got on your face is gonna be fuel for the fire. Just for asking a stupid yeah. question, you're gonna get destroyed. <laughs> right. oh. In the time of the visitation, they shall be cast oh. down. You don't, don't, don't. You're gonna be cast down like the heathen that you are. I will surely consume them, says the Lord. You gonna get sued by what? By fire. There shall be no more grapes on the vine, nor figs on the fig. Oh yeah, see, so no more drinking, no more having parties, and listen to your retarded, no whack ass music. No more, no more. No more, no more uh, yeah. There'll be no more grapes on the vine, nor figs on the fig tree, yeah. and no new kids. I mean, there ain't gonna be no recognition of nothing. There ain't gonna be nothing. There gonna be dirt. It's gonna be smoke and dirt, you know, and radiation. Smoke, dirt, radiation. Funny shit. And no one of them cares. That's a good. That's a good Nobody one. Nobody cares. This part right here. Uh, Jeremiah eight and fifteen. Hey, hold on. Let me figure out. Do y'all know that Harvard University just came out with a study that said fluoridated water causes brain damage? That's why you're all retarded. Because you uh, use fluoridated toothpaste and you drink fluoridated water and you have brain damage. That's why you're retarded. In case you was wondering, like, why am I so stupid? That's why. We look for peace, but no good came. There ain't nothing good coming for you. Nothing. Unless you believe in the, if you believe in the Lord, you're going to be okay. You're going to be good. That's why you're part. And for a time of help, and behold, trouble. Dude, There's not much trouble coming, nothing but death, destruction, anguish, and misery. Second Peter 3 and 7. From the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Yeah, so the, the fire gonna burn up all the ungodly men. If you ain't right with the Lord, you're gonna get burned up. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. So that's what people, oh, Jesus ain't came yet. Well, you actually think 2,000 years is a long time? That ain't shit. Right. You ever watch uh, Dragon Ball Z, the hyperbolic uh, time chamber? Uh, I don't know how to move Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to come out strong as hell. Yeah. yeah, that one day. They was in there for just one day. They get that from the scripture. That's right. Woo! They sure did, didn't they? They jacked that from the scripture. You believe in the Bible? Hey, freak, I'm talking. You believe in the Bible? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you don't, you're going to be destroyed. We the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. So the Lord, the Lord, he don't lie. He made a promise, he's gonna keep it. He now goes, some men count slackness. They all think, oh, how come Jesus ain't came back yet? Oh, guess what? Don't worry, he's coming. And you're gonna be destroyed if you ain't right. But his own suffering to us was not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to re repentance. And yeah, and do y'all know how the Lord is coming back? Do y'all, you ever seen a UFO before? Because uh, UFOs exist, that's a fact. It can't be denied. They got all kind of shows on TV now. Got all kind of proof. Well, the UFOs, that's Christ and the angels. 
and they gonna come back to destroy and to kill and to slay and to annihilate but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise yeah so everything gonna pass away at a great noise boom nuclear missiles make boom. a great noise y'all know what nuclear missiles are did you know that nuclear weapons exist? That's a fact. I can prove it. I can prove it. What do you Yeah, don't you know we curse them? <laughs> He's a homosexual. Right. He's walking off. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yeah, so everything ain't gonna get burned up. That, that building gonna be destroyed, the street gonna be destroyed, this goddamn godforsaken university's gonna be destroyed, oh, the, the motherfucker, this whole damn country's gonna be just all oh, just leveled. All of them. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Yeah, all the works. So all, all this all this happy time they got going on is gonna get put to an end. That's right, there just goes into that. See then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Yeah, so most people, they don't they don't speak with a holy tongue. They don't speak about the scriptures. They don't talk, even talk about the most high. Mm -hmm. All they talking about is their bullshit TV and bullshit garbage-ass music they listen to. Mm -hmm. Most people, they taste the music sucks ass. Yeah, they listen to the most garbage ass music these days. Today's music fucking sucks. Keep on. That's good. That's just a sign that this place is about to be destroyed. The Lord said he going to bring he going to bring the noise of your trumpet down. He going to cut it off. Ain't going to be no more music. Ain't going to be no party. Ain't going to be no more none of that shit. <laughs> the fuck is that, Pocahontas? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. It said the heavens are, how did the heavens get on fire? What? How did the heavens get on fire? We went from the question. Instead of, so you know there's people that walk up to all kinds of foolish things. Right. Usually the people that try to die on the process. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're out here. You feel like it. So you're I, your, I am a, I'm you're, a, I'm you're your sister. Heart, I'm your sister. I know that. Christ. I know that. All right. So, <laughs> that it is important to emphasize the gospel and emphasize the fact that Jesus died for us. That's what we're doing. Who's up? Everyone in the whole world. What scripture says that? <laughs> everyone in the whole world. What scripture? Every, Jesus died for everyone. Everyone. What scripture is that? That's, can I, can I ask you your question? Don't worry about okay, it. We're going to call you all the time. But what just give us the scripture? Okay. Could you break it down for me, man? The word world. Well, give Ezra. The world was created for us. The qualification is that you have to believe in him. Yes. I'm going to give you something else first. Okay, hold on. Before you go. All right. Before you go. Go on and get that, man. I'll get Matthew 15 to 24. Get the Psalms 130. We was already in it. Psalms 147. There's a few scriptures we got here for you. All right, that's fine. Yeah, because that's, a, that's, a, that's one of the biggest mysteries, one of the biggest lies. He died for his people. His people. His people. His people so, the, the Israelites. The Israelites. The Israelites. Right. So no, 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 no. Well, listen, believe it or not, all the other nations are going to heaven, but in heaven they're going to be slain. That's in the scripture. Well, that's a... That's listen, right here. But you said John 3, 16, right? All right. Okay, this is Hebrews 1. I'm going to start at 1. The Most High, who at sundry times... Look at my glasses. Right? Where you at? I'm at Hebrews 1. Oh, okay. Yeah, that does explain that pretty good, I guess. Yeah. And in divers' manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. See, worlds. Not worlds, but worlds. So when you're speaking of worlds, he's speaking of a certain world, not every world. Do you mind if you see it? Mm, worlds. Okay. 
We're gonna go with John 316 too for that's, that seems to be everybody's superhero question. Well, John 3.16 is the only scripture most people know. Right. right. There's, there's right. a reason. There's I a, mean, there's, there's other ones. I, I can come back tomorrow and give you other ones. No, no, it's fine. No, we, we know all the scriptures. Okay, um, now, let me read one. We got one for you right here. Which is Matthew? Matthew 15. Matthew 15 is 24. Right here. I want you to break this down for me. Okay. I want you to help me. All right, I mean, I would love to study it more, but I can give you oh, it's, what it's, I think. It's just straightforward. It's, it's not some kind of crazy, complicated prophecy, okay? Right. It's a real straightforward English. Check this out. Matthew 15 and 24. <clears throat> now, this is red letters, okay? Red letters. Well, she, she knows that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, this is what he I said. Know now, no, 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 thank you. now, we're going to reveal a mystery to you, okay? Because the Bible calls this a mystery, all right? And what's a mystery? Some people don't know about it. But he answered and said, I am not sent. I am not sent. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep, but unto the lost sheep. of the house of Israel. What does he mean by that? I'll read it one sent, more time. But I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So are you saying that... If I believe Jesus died to me on the cross. Well, and what's the next one? What's the next one? I mean, I don't know things of lots of No, what's your problem? What's your problem? Uh, we're very diverse Europeans. He has no idea British, where she came from. Irish. I mean, I'm a lot of <laughs> She has no, no you idea. Could be in if you could be. You better hope like hell you are. Because look, the scripture. Let me tell you something. I, I Let me tell you something. When, when he comes and saves, he's not coming to save everyone. So are you yeah, a Gentile? John, John. Are you a Gentile? Yes, I would be. A Gentile. Give me that. what's that? Corinthians? You going? First, oh, yeah. <laughs> you read my mind. Get that's it for me. Get it for me. I, I got it. Let me I get it. Break it down for me. And I have got to go after this. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, you said you're a Gentile, well, right? Just real quick. Well, Matthew one and twenty one. You ready? To listen. What no uh, Christ come to say? I'm about to tell you right here. And she shall bring forth a son. And they should call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. His people. That's just like Matthew uh, 15 and 24. Because where he said he came for the lost sheep. Now, what does the word lost mean? It means you don't know where they are. You got to look for them. And how do you look for, for your lost sheep? Didn't that Christ say? That, listen, did he not say you got to preach the gospel to every nation? Why is that? Because Israel is scattered among every nation. That was a curse day. Uh, That's a mystery. Well, after we came back, the most we gave the laws, and then we didn't follow with you. That what happened with the curse. I thought we scattered among all nations. Get that up. Uh, are you all Jewish? No, no, yeah, we're, we're Israelites. Jews. We're Israelites. Well, Jew, that's short for a Judah. Well, that's a tribe. Okay. I didn't get that word. Well, that's it. That's what a tribe Christ came from. Are you associated Judah. with any sort of church or anything? Just as the church. Well, mean to call out. Yeah, that's a Greek word. Uh, like that. It means to call out. Where was Christ's church at? Right. I mean, I understand when the two or three gather in his name. That's the church. That's yeah. the church. Yeah. We're the church. I'm just wondering if you're associated with any sort of we're like Israelite. organization. We're We're a nation of people. We're not okay, under the 501c3. We're, we're a nation. The church is. Yeah. To have a church, you have to be under the 501c3 charter. Okay. So we're bigger than that. So we're so bigger. I could, if we could talk what? later, because I have to go. Oh yeah. Here. Uh, um, I got you. I got Twitter. You can hit me up on there, maybe. Uh, I don't have Twitter. No. Give well, your phone you, number. What do you have? Okay. I can give you a number. I have Facebook. So I don't do Facebook. That's that's CIA. That's CIA ran your Facebook. That's all they do is surve uh, surveillance you on Facebook. And you don't think they do the same on Well, of course they do, but on Facebook, though, I just don't like Facebook, you know? Okay, I, I, that's I just, a personal you know, preference. I'm on YouTube all day. But, uh, I give you a number, you know, that's all I can do. Uh, sure. A I'm number on Twitter. What's your number? Oh, here, I got a, can't say it on camera. Turn that camera off. 